Hi everyone! In this video I want to show you how you can easily connect Facebook leads to ConvertKit for free and without coding. I'll show you the case for automatically adding a subscriber to ConvertKit each time you get a new lead in Facebook ads. But there are lots of other variants. In this guide you'll see how it works, and then you can configure the integration according to your needs. I'll do it with the help of the Epiway. Epiway is a free integration platform, where you can find appropriate B2B software and integrate it with each other. And you don't have to pay or do any coding. Why is it free? Well, this service charges money from software vendors and promotes them in the software marketplace. That's why Epiway is free and has no time limits for end users. Now let's move on to the integration. First, you need to sign up on the Epiway website. After you've done this, go to the tab Integrations and add Facebook and ConvertKit. Then go to My Apps and connect them. Let's start with Facebook. When you click this button, you need to authorize your account. It is important that this user should have access to Facebook Ads Manager page in which the lead form is done. When you see this green text, Facebook is successfully connected. Next, let's connect ConvertKit. Click this button and you will see a field. Here you should input your API secret. You can find this information on the ConvertKit website. Click here and go to Account Settings. And here you will find your API key and API secret. You need only the second one. Copy it to the field on Epiway website and click the button Connect. Now both services are attached and we can start to configure the integration. I've created a lead form in advance. I hope you already know how to do it. If not, you can easily find such a video on YouTube, there are plenty of them. I return to the Epiway and now we should create a way. You can give it the name which you need. For example, Facebook and ConvertKit. Next, you should specify the trigger. Here choose Facebook lead forms. Then set a new lead as a trigger for the action. Next, choose the page and lead form from the list of ones that you have. Now we need to find Facebook lead form testing tool. It's a standard Facebook tool. Go to this page and in the first sentences there's a link on the tool itself. Click it. This tool simulates the lead in order to check that everything works. I choose this page and this form, which I've already shown you. Now click the button Create Lead and the tool will send you a test and lead. After that, return to Epiway and click Update Available Fields. The data has appeared. You can create different questions in your lead form and everything you need will be here. Now let's continue with the action. Choose a service here. In our case, it is ConvertKit. And here you can see lots of variants of action. Let's choose Add Subscriber to Form. After that, test the connection and update available fields again. And it shows you field which you have in contacts personal info on ConvertKit website. Choose to what form you want to add the subscriber. Click the plus sign and choose full name for name, email for email and so on. Then click test and activate. If you want to edit this way, you can find it in the tab My Ways, deactivate it and change everything you need. But don't forget to activate it again. Now you should create test lead one more time. First delete it and then create it again. Please keep in mind that transmission of the data may take a little time. Sometimes it comes immediately, sometimes you have to wait for a while. The time of waiting is up to 15 minutes. Now I'll go to ConvertKit website. I go to Subscribers and you can see that I've already received the data of test lead which Facebook has sent. Name, email, phone number. The integration is working. Using Epiway you can make integration and automate your work without any problems. And of course, don't forget to go to the Epiway website, look through the categories, choose appropriate software for you and improve your business process.